Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I hope you are doing well. So today we are going to do some surahs, last 10 surahs. Okay, so first of all, uh, we have to discuss uh, about like basic rules of uh, uh, the Jweed before starting uh, the uh, last 10 surahs. And uh, you need to learn uh, them, uh, like you need to learn uh, first this, these rules, and after that, inshallah, when we will start. Uh, last 10 surahs then inshallah uh, you have to apply uh, these all rules when you will recite uh, those surahs so here first of all uh, we will discuss about this uh, you have to uh, take screenshot so this one is these are seven permanent bold letters everywhere we have to read them with heavy sound with bold sound <laughs> second thing is about qalqala qalqala means an extra sound you have to take it um, sorry screenshot so that is qalqala what is Kalkala? Kalkala means an extra sound, echo sound. So there are five Kalkala letters Qaf, Ta, Ba, Jim, Dal. Qutubu, Jaddin. We can memorize them. Qutubu, Jaddin. Now the question is when Kalkala will be applied? The answer is when Sukun sign comes on top of the Kalkala letters, then Kalkala will be applied. How we will do Kalkala? For example, Qaf has Sukun sign. For example, we have to uh, write here. Qaf. And uh, uh, now we said, uh, if uh, like uh, if uh, Sukun sign comes on top of the Qalqala letters, then we have to pronounce with Qalqala. So we put Sukun sign. And the letter having Sukun sign, uh, we cannot read that. Uh, without uh, like taking help of previous letter sign so for example if we put here uh, Hamza with uh, Alif uh, sorry Zabar sign so how we will read that like Hamza Qaf Zabar Aqa like Hamza Qaf Fata Aqa Aqa Qa Qa that is Kal Kalkala okay Aqa we pronounced an extra sound here second thing is about uh, uh, this one Without any sign, we have to uh, read that alif. But if there is any sign on top of the alif, then we have to call it hamza. For example, uh, now this one is alif, but now this one is hamza. Because as we said, when alif has any sign, then it will be hamza. Okay? So, So the next thing is about Madda letters. There are three Madda letters. You have to uh, take a screenshot, uh, which are Alif, Waw, and Ya. When the previous letter of Alif has Zabar sign, then Alif will be Madda. When Waw has Sukun sign, and the previous letter of Waw has Pay sign, then Waw will be Madda. When Ya has Sukun sign, and the previous letter of Ya has Kasra, uh, Zer sign, then Ya is Madda letter. Then uh, they will be straight for two seconds. Okay, so we have to start Noon Sakin and Tanween rules. There are three, sorry, four rules of Noon Sakin and Tanween. Izhar, first one is Izhar, mean clarity. Idgham, means combination. Ikhla, mean to change. Ikhfa, mean to hiding. You have, to, you can uh, take screenshot. So first one is Izhar, mean clarity. There are six letters of Izhar, which are also throttle letters. Hamza, Ha, Ain, Ha, Ghain, Kha. How uh, is how will be applied? Uh, the answer is when any letter comes from these letters after non sakin and tanween, is how will be applied. And we have to read uh, without ghunna. We have to read clearly, like this one. There is non sakin, and uh, after non sakin there is ha, and ha is in is har letters. So we have to read min hu instead of min hu. 
and if we we uh, if we will do if we will read meow then it will be wrong so we have to pronounce it min who so here that is tanween after tanween there is ain ain is in throttle letters so uh, is hard letters so we have to read it without ghuna uh, quranan arabiyan like that so the next letter is idgham means combination there are six letters of idgham yar malun ya ra mim lam waw nun there are two types of idgham idgham with ghunna and idgham without ghunna you have to take screenshot in idgham with ghunna there are four letters ya mim waw nun these letters came from these uh, this word yar malun uh, if any letter comes from uh, these letters after nun sakin and tanween then we have to read idgham with ghunna so second thing is uh, idgham without ghunna if any uh, letter comes from these two letters after nun sakin and tanween then we have to do without ghunna uh, i will show you the example of uh, this uh, for example uh, we can say Like my ya kolu, you can see there is noon sakin, noon sakin after noon sakin there is ya, and ya is in uh, your malun letter. So we have to read with gunna. Uh, we have to uh, read idgham with gunna here. Okay. So, for example, we say. Sorry. Uh, we have to uh, look at second example of uh, without gunna for example we can say we can call it like mir rabbika afternoon second there is ra we have to uh, re uh, read without gunna idgham without gunna Second, third, uh, third rule is iqlaab means to change. There are only one letter of iqlaab, which is ba. If ba comes after noon sakin and tanween, then uh, we will change noon sakin and tanween into mim, and we will do ghunna, like uh, tum bi tu. Like for example, we have to say. Now you can see there is there is noon sakin after noon sakin there is ba so we have to uh, read here li, uh, meme we have to uh, you can see here little meme like tom bi tu like that. So next letter is ikhfa means hiding. There are fifteen letters of ikhfa. All letters except ishal letters, idgham letters, iqlab, and alif. These are ta, tha, jim, dal, dal, za, sin, shin, sad, la, ta, wa, fa, qaf, kaf. If any ikhfa letter comes after noon sakin and tanween, then we have to hide the sound of noon sakin and tanween in noz. And we will do ghunna. Like, mia, dalika. Like we can say, for example, we can say there is the example of uh, ikhfa like there is noon sakin after noon sakin there is dal dal is in 
ikhfa letters so uh, we have to read mazalika like that so there are three rules of mim sakin ikhfa shafwi idgham shafwi and izhar shafwi so in ikhfa shafwi there is one letter in ikhfa shafwi that is ba when ba when the letter ba comes after uh, mim sakin we are uh, doing mim sakin rules uh, mim sakin there will be ikhfa shafwi and it will be pronounced with ghunna for 2 seconds if ba comes after mim sakin then we have to do uh, idgham sorry we have to do ikhfa with ghunna we have to do ghunna for 2 seconds so second thing is idgham shafwi there is only one letter that is mim if mim comes after uh, mim sakin then we have to do ghunna for 2 seconds so next is next one is ikhfa uh, sorry izhar shafawi if any letter comes except ba and mim after mim sakin if any letter comes after uh, sorry except ba and mim after mim sakin then uh, we will read clearly and without ghunna so First of all, we need to read Aus Billah in the Shaitan Rajim and Bismillah Rahman Rahim before starting recitation. So, <clears throat> you have to read after me if you want to get your uh, correct pronunciation. So, first of all, you have to read Aus Billah and Bismillah after me. Aoudu Billah in the Rajim. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألم تر كيف فعل ربك بأصحاب الفيل ألم يجعل كيدهم في تظليل وأرسل عليهم طيرا أبابيل ترميهم بحجارة من سجيل فجعلهم كعصف مأكول Ra should be bold because Ra has uh, Fata sign, Zabar sign and Ra is a temporary bold letter so you have to read this with bold sound and Ya, Ya is soft letter here and about this Ra, this, uh, this Ra has uh, Fata sign so you have to read this with bold sound and this, this one is Saad, it should be bold because it is permanently bold letter okay so this one is Ya it should be uh, uh, like stretched you have to read like feel because this is madda letter okay so next one is jim that uh, you have to pronounce with kalkala because it has uh, sukun sign jazam sign connecting sign on it so next letter is uh, next here Fi, you have to stretch it due to uh, madda letter because ya is madda letter when ya has second sign and the previous letter of ya has kasra then you have to read with uh, stretching sound you have to stretch this so next letter is vod you have to read this with bold sound because vod is bold letter okay so next letter if you want to join them then you have to do ghunna and this Ra should be bold because it has consigned the previous letter of Ra has 
fatha sign so that's why it should be bold so this ta should be bold because it is permanently bold letter this ra will be bold because it has fatha sign so this ra will be bold because it has sukun sign the previous letter of ra has fatha sign and second thing about ya ya is madda letter here next uh, this one is mim and you have to pronounce here uh, ikhfa here uh, that is mim sakin roll uh, ikhfa shafuwi okay so that one is ra uh, it has fatha sign so it should be bold okay so here uh, that is tanwin after tanwin there is mim and mim is in yarmalun letter so it sh should be uh, like it should be uh, you, you i mean you have gunna here so you, uh, you have to pronounce with gunna like bi hijaratin next one is min here is ikhfa because afternoon sign there is seen and here that is uh, ya uh, ya madda and ya it has sukun sign the previous letter of ya has kasra so that's why it should be uh, prolonged so next faja'alahum ka'as so it should be bold so next uh, there is is uh, idgham with gunna is here so makul you have to read this hamza with jerking sound when hamza has sukun sign you have we have to read with jerking sound so that one is madda letter wow is madda when the previous letter of wow sakin has page sign zamma sign then we have to stretch it for 2 seconds so now i gonna read just listen to me bismillahir rahmanir rahim alam tara kayfa fa'ala rabb بِكَبِ أَصْحَابِ الْفِيلِ أَلَمْ يَجْعَلْ كَيْدَهُمْ فِي تَضْلِيلٍ وَأَرْسَلَ عَلَيْهِمْ طَيْرًا أَبَابِيلٍ تَرْمِيهِمْ بِحِجَارَةٍ مِنْ سِجِّيلٍ فَجَعَلَهُمْ كَعَصْفٍ مَّكُولٍ Okay, the next surah is Suratu Quraysh, Makkiyya. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لإلى في قريش إلى فيهم رحلة الشتاء والصيف فليعبدوا رب بهذا البيت الذي أطعمهم من جوع وَآمَنَهُمْ مِنْ خَوْفٍ So here, لِإِلَافِ We have to stretch it due to Ya's Madda letter here. Okay. So, next, Qaf and Ra, both are bold. Qaf is permanent bold letter and Ra is temporary bold letter. Next, this one is soft letter. Before Yahasakin, there is Zabar, so that so it is soft letter. It should be pronounced with soft sound. So next, this one is we have to stretch it because this is uh, Madda letter and uh, it is Mad 
madde muttasil so that's why we have to stretch it so next that is sod it should be bold because it is bold letter so here for we have to say falya budu we have to stretch it for 2 seconds because wow is madda letter here before wow sakin there is page sign so we have to uh, stretch it so next is raw it is temporary bold letter we have to do it with bold sound so we have to stretch here because that is madda we have to say alladhi at'amahum because this is uh, mad we have to pronounce uh, we have to read that with uh, stretching sound we have to stretch it because it is madde munfasil so we have to stretch this one uh, uh, sorry uh, this one and we have to read this tha with heavy sound bold sound and also we have to do qalqala on it so next here we have to pronounce ghunna uh, here and here we have to pronounce also ghunna because that is ikhfa so if we want to join them uh, join this with this one then we have to do idgham with ghunna we have to do combination with ghunna so next here again we have to stretch it for, uh, for two seconds here we have to do a ghunna here so because that is uh, idgham and idgham shafawi okay so next here we have to pronounce without ghunna due to uh, izhar so it should be with bold sound kha <laughs> so now i have to read it again listen to me carefully and try to read like me bismillahir rahmanir rahim li ila fi quraish ila fihim rihlat ash-shita was sayf fal ya'budu rabb hadha al-bayt alladhi at'amahum min ju' wa amanahum min khawf okay so the next surah is surah al-ma'un makkiyah بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم You have to read after me أرأيت الذي يكذب بالدين فذلك الذي يدع اليتيم ولا يحض على طعام المسكين فويل للمصلين الذين هم صلاتهم ساهون الذين هم يراءون ويمنعون الماعون so this raw 
should be uh, bold because uh, that is temporary bold letter so next is this one ya yeah, you have to stretch it okay because uh, this is madda letter like allavi so here this one is also ya yeah, and it is uh, madda letter so you have to stretch it uh, for 2 seconds so this is also ya yeah, madda this is also ya yeah, madda and this one is vod we have to read this with bold sound this is also bold sound uh, bold letter and this one is madda letter so you we have to stretch it this one is a bold letter so we have to read this with bold sound so next this one is ain oh sorry noon sakin after noon sakin there is sad so it should be pronounced like in ikhfa sound like uh, ikhfa is applying here so we have to read like asqalatihim so next this one is alif madda because the previous letter of alif has zabar sign so that is madda letter uh, and it will be straight for 2 second and same thing is here and this one is waw madda if waw has second sign the previous letter of waw has page so waw will be read with stretching sound we have to stretch that same thing is here that is ya madda and so we have to stretch it here uh, because uh, this is madde muttasil so we have to stretch it for uh, 5 to 6 seconds so here that is madda letter waw madda here also this one is alif madda and this one is waw madda basically uh, there are three madda letters uh, alif waw and ya uh, when the previous letter of alif has fatha sign zabar sign then we have to read this uh, with stretching sound then we have to stretch it and second thing is wow second one is wow if wow has jazm sign sukoon sign or we can say connecting sign then if the previous letter of wow has pesh zama then it will be straight for two seconds because then it will be madda so next letter is ya and if ya has sukoon sign and the previous letter of ya has kasra or zens zer sign then we have to uh, we have to stretch it for 2 seconds so these are uh, madda letters and we can call them madde tabi okay so the next surah is suratul kawthar makkiyah so read after me بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصل لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبتر so we have to stretch it because this is madda letter first we have to do gunna here because this one is known mushaddad that is called shad sign it's looking like w so it is called shad sign the letter having shad sign is called mushaddad if known has shad sign then it will be straight for 2 seconds so next le next one is mad that is mad we have to uh, prolong it we have to pronounce uh, like in we have to stretch it uh, because this is madde uh, munfasil so we have to stretch it okay so next letter is ta ta is bold here and here if we will do stop then we have to read uh, we have to uh, do it with bold sound so this one is also uh, we have to uh, do it with bold sound 
so next letter is raw it uh, it has uh, zebra sign so that's why it should be bold so there is known mushaddad and it will be stretched for two seconds because it has shut sign if known has shut sign then it will be stretched for two seconds there is also alif madda and here we have to pronounce qalqala and what is qalqala uh, i told you before uh, in the beginning of this video so you can uh, if you don't know about that then you have to uh, look at from uh, beginning so the next surah is surah al kafirun makkiya bismillahir rahmanir rahim قُلْ يَا أَيُّهَا الْكَافِرُونَ لَا أَعْبُدُ مَا تَعْبُدُونَ ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنا عابد ما عبدتم ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد لكم دينكم ولي دين So here, Qaf and it is bold letter so we have to pronounce Qul. Qaf should be with bold sound. So here we have to stretch it, okay? Like, Ya Ayyuha Al-Kafirun That is Mad and Mad means to stretch. So here, Waw is Madda letter because the previous letter of Waw Sakin has page sign. So that's why we have to uh, stretch it. So here, that is again mad. So we have to stretch it. La a'budu. That is madda letter. We have to stretch. And this is also madda letter. Then we have to stretch it. This one is again uh, madda letter. Then we have to stretch it. So here, uh, that is ikhfa. Uh, so we have to do ghunna here. Like antum here that is madda letter so we have to uh, stretch it this is also mad we have to uh, stretch it so here we have to uh, stretch it because that is madda letter so here that is idgham if the uh, after the mean there uh, there is meme then we have to do uh, combination with Ghunna so here again we have to stretch like Wala Antum here we have to do Ghunna because uh, Ikhfa is applying here so next letter is Ma here again we have to stretch it and here that is uh, Mad so we have to stretch it okay so I will uh, read this word again Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Qul ya ayyuhal kafirun la a'budu ma ta'budun ولا أنتم عابدون ما أعبد ولا أنا عابد 
عبتم ولا انتم عابدون ما اعبد لكم دينكم ولي دين So next surah is surah al-lahab it is makkiya <coughs> sorry uh, we skip this surah uh, this one is surah al-nas madaniya Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Iza jaa nasrullahi wal fath Wa ra'ayta an-nas yadkhuluna fi dinillahi afwaja Fasabbih bihamdi rabbika wastaghfir Innahu kana tawwaba So here we have to stretch because that is madal um, mad So this this both are bold letter because ra is temporary because it has page sign So it should be uh, pronounced with stretching sound and this one is uh, sawed and uh, we have to stretch it because this is a uh, permanently bold letter so here we have to do gunna again because known has shat sign so that is known mushaddad so that's why we have to uh, like do gunna so next that is qalqala and we have to do qalqala like yad yad khuduna okay so again here we have to do Ghunna uh, because that is Mushaddad, uh, known is Mushaddad So that's why we have to do Ghunna So the next letter is uh, Sorry, the next surah is Suratul Lahab Makkiyya Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Tabbat yada abi lahabin wa tab ma aghna anhu maluhu wa ma kasab Sayasla naran that lahab Wamraatu Hamalat al-Hatab Fi jidiha hablum so we have to stretch it here because that is madda letter and oh sorry mad and we have to stretch it so here we have to do uh, idgham with ghunna and also here again we have to do uh, mad we, uh, we have to stretch it ghain should be bold sod should be bold here and here raw should be bold and also ikhfa is applying we have to do ghunna like nara so here that is meme mushaddad uh, if meme or known has shed sign then uh, we have to uh, stretch it so again it, uh, we have to do idgham with ghunna here and also here idgham with ghunna i will read this surah again listen to me carefully 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Tabbat yada abi lahabi wa tab Ma aghna anhu maluhu wa ma kasab Sayasla naran zata lahab Wa amraatuh Hammalat al-hatab Fi jidiha hablub Mimmasad So next surah is Surah Al-Ikhlas Makkiya Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Qul huwa Allahu ahad Allahu samad Lam yalid wa lam yulad Wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad So Qaf should be bold and also here Huwa Allah when the previous letter of Lam of Allah or Allahumma has Zabar sign, Fatah sign or Zamma or you can say Pesh sign then we have to read that with bold sound we have to pronounce it with bold sound I am talking about just Lam of Allah and Allahumma if the previous letter of Lam of Allah in Allahumma has Fata sign or Zamma sign uh, or you can say uh, Zabar sign or Pesh sign then we have to read that with bold sound like Huwallah same thing is here and there is Lam of Allah in the previous letter of Lam of Allah has Zabar sign then we have to do with bold sound so Saad should be with bold sound here we have to do Qalqala here also we have to do Qalqala and here Izhar is applying in the uh, in ten, uh, after Noon Sarkin and Tanwin there is any Izhar letter comes after Noon Sarkin and Tanwin then we have to do uh, without Ghona so okay so the next surah is Surah Al-Falaq Makkiya Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Qul a'udhu bi rabbi بالفلق من شر ما خلق ومن شر غاسق إذا وقب وَمِنْ شَرِّ النَّفَّاثَاتِ فِي الْعُقَدِ وَمِنْ شَرِّ حَاسِدٍ إِذَا حَسَدِ So here we have to do with bold sound that is Madda letter we have to stretch it we have to read with bold بِرَبِّلْ that is إِخْفَى like مِيَا مِيَا we have to pronounce مِيَا شَرِّ so it should be bold again we have to do إِخْفَى so here sorry here غَيْن is bold letter and here we have to do izhar we have to do clearly we and without gunna like ghasiqin idha here we have to do ikhfa again there is noon mushad so we have to stretch it 
that is bold letter again ikhfa is applying here so there is madda letter izhar is applying here like hasidin idha now uh, listen to me carefully bismillahir rahmanir rahim qul a'udhu bi rabbil falaq min sharri ma khalaq wa min sharri ghasiqin idha waqab wa min sharri nafasati fil uqad wa min sharri hasidin idha hasad So the next surah is Surah Al-Nas, Makkiya. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Qul a'udhu bi rabbin nas. Malikin nas. إله الناس من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس. So this one is bold letter. This one is Madda letter. We have to stretch it again. We have to uh, read with bold sound. There is no mushaddad, so we have to read with Qunna. Uh, again, there is no mushaddad. Again, uh, there is no mushaddad. We have to stretch it for two seconds. Here, Ikhfa is applying. So this one is Wow Madda. So we have to say Was 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 Wa like that. Again, there is no mushad that we have to stretch it. There is madda letter ya madda. Again, there is ya madda. Again, this one is ya madda. We have to stretch it for two seconds. This one is no mushad that we have to stretch it. This one is again no mushad that so we have to stretch it. This one is again no mushad that we have to stretch it. So, again. Listen to me carefully. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qul a'udhu bi Rabbin Nas. Malikin Nas. Ilahin Nas. من شر الوسواس الخناس الذي يوسوس في صدور الناس من الجنة والناس صدق الله العظيم